Assalamu alaikum today we will discuss about the chest x-ray and x-ray lateral view of the neck as in my previous video I have discussed about the x-ray of the paranasal sinuses you can watch from there so let's start uh, in order to see any type of in order to read any type of x-ray you must know that how a normal x-ray looks like uh, so uh, here are some steps that you must follow the first one is that you have to see that which view is this you have like in the case of chest x-ray as shown in front of you it has two views shown it this is ap view and this is pa view and how you can differentiate between these two views if it is not written here that this is ap view and this is pa view actually in the case of ap view number one thing is that in the case of ap view this clavicle is more horizontal in position or you can say that the, uh, both the clavicles are more in line with each other as compared to in pa view where the this uh, this clavicle is forming somewhat v shape or in other words in the in other words i must say that here you can see that uh, the apex of the lungs is just below apex of the lungs is just below this clavicle but in here the apex of the lungs can be seen clearly above the clavicles okay so num on number two you have to see that this scapular shadow has been shown here okay scapular shadow is clearly visible in ap view but here no scapular shadow is visible number third thing this was scapula number one was clavicle and on number third you have to see that here a false cardiomegaly is shown it is just looking like cardiomegaly it is not actual cardiomegaly in ap view false cardiomegaly can be seen but here no cardiomegaly can be seen it is false remember that it is false cardiomegaly number four thing is that you have to see these ribs in ap view the ribs are more parallel in position as compared to in pa view where the ribs are more oblique in position okay so these were the things that uh, you can use to differentiate between the ap view and pa view and the other things that you can read in this chest x-ray is that you must know that your left side is right side on chest x-ray and your right side is left side on chest x-ray and similar case is here and the other thing is that here you can see lobe of the diaphragm right lobe and this is the left lobe of the diaphragm left lobe is slightly lower as compared to the right lobe and this is because of the weight of the heart and moreover you can see here that this is the aortic knuckle or aortic arch shadow of aortic arch and here is the pulmonary trunk then comes the left atrium and then comes the left ventricle here is the superior vena cava and then right atrium and then comes the inferior vena cava okay so and moreover you can see here this is the trachea trachea can either be central in position or it can be either slightly tilted towards the right because of this aortic arch shadow and one more thing that you know is that thoracic inlet thoracic inlet is actually the junctional region between the structures of the root of neck and contents of the thoracic cavity and the transverse plane passing through the thoracic inlet parallels the first rib like you can see here this is your c-shaped uh, rib is your first rib maybe you are appreciating it or not c-shape is your first rib and here you can see your thoracic inlet your thoracic inlet can be present somewhat here and your floating ribs or 11th and 12th ribs are more visible on pa view as well and so that was all how to read a normal chest x-ray and now we are moving towards the extra lateral view of the neck here you can see clearly vertebra it is more easy for you people to count vertebra from below upwards like this is one two three four five six seven eight okay these are its lamina you can also count from here and in front of the vertebrae is pre vertebral shadow you can also call it as esophagus and in front of that shown in black color somewhat black color as ear is present in trachea and in any type of x-ray ear is shown in black color and um, secretions or any other things 
secretions or uh, any other things like blood etc are shown in uh, op opacity this is your trachea above it this is larynx okay so in a normal in a normal x-ray this prevertebral shadows width is less than the width of this vertebral body and if width of this prevertebral shadow is increased than the width of this vertebral body then this is a case of retropharyngeal abscess or you can say that there is infection of the uh, retropharyngeal space and in the case of any uh, type of x-ray like extra lateral view of neck you cannot clearly differentiate between the prevertebral space and retropharyngeal space here hyoid bone is shown okay look at it these are dentures artificial teeth and as they are fixed by this metallic hook so this portion appears radiolucent on x-ray but this appears radio opaque and this is an other case where thumb sign is shown okay here thumb sign is shown and what is thumb sign thumb sign is actually uh, seen in the case of acute epiglottitis and here a clear cut pencil shape is formed and this pencil shape is seen in the case of the croup or infection in the subglottic larynx here you can again see this pencil shape it can be seen clearly here so that was all here you can again see a pencil shape and which view is this let us recall which view is this this is mainly your PA view as the apex of the lungs is just above the clavicles and these clavicles are forming somewhat V shape okay and you can also see somewhat uh, that these ribs are more curved in position okay and from here the anterior ribs can also be seen like this like this this one this one these are anterior ribs and moreover shadow of scapula can also cannot be seen here so that was all thank you very much